Good morning, Musi. 最近怎样？我们直接直接跳进去这个主题。等等等等，跳进去这个主题之前呢，因为这个影片太长了，所以我建议没有打算找义工的你们，可以跳过接下来那八分钟，直接看我在克罗地亚工作的影片。我们继续看吧。就是分享我上一个暑假的时候去了欧洲当义工。我们比较 structural 一点，我这个影片会 cover 什么呢？就是怎么找。Interview， 他会问什么？钱的问题，这个很重要哦。还有，我是做了什么？一想到 volunteering 当义工，第一个你就会想到我的能力做不做到。最直接会想到的想法就是有两个，第一个就是我的英语不够好，第二个就是我的经验不够，我怎么可以找到一个义工呢 ？Work experience 我都没有，那我怎么做到？其实这两个都不是一个问题。其实英语真的不是一个问题，因为我去了以后才知道为什么不是一个问题。因为我身边的义工，其他的一些义工英语其实真的没有更好。我以为我已经是很烂，但是有人更烂，好像说人家好像好不好哦。但是最简单就是人家给你一个 task， 你听得懂他说什么，你做到就是那么简单，不用那么厉害。到底说要很流利跟人家。去做这件事 ，presentation 这样根本没有这些东西，所以我觉得可以试试。英语真的是不是一个大问题。第二个呢，就是经验不够 ，volunteering 都是 make for 这些经验不够的人，因为他根本不用发你薪水啊。对啊，就是你是当义工啊，他还要你哦，我要几个学位，然后三年工作经验，根本没有这样的事。所以我觉得你们可以先申请看看。这两个如果是你的问题，我觉得我可以跟你说。不是一个问题啊！一个更具体的例子就是，我身边最小的那个是十六岁，我吓到。然后他，我跟他交流还是蛮难的，因为他的英语真的不够好。然后他十六岁，你想要他什么经验？如果怎样的人都可以试试去当义工，那你我相信也是可以的。如果你是十六岁的话，也是可以试试。如果你大于十六岁的话，我更加鼓励你。然后先说一说我去 volunteering 做什么呢？这是一个 European University Championship， 是关于沙滩手球跟 combat， 就是武术这两个 event， 但两个礼拜。那我们来到这个影片第一个 session， 怎么申请？
怎么申请呢？这是有两个方法，最简单的大家都想到 Google， 你打 volunteering， 然后出来什么，然后你去点就看一看有什么。其实我觉得这些也不是一个问题，因为我大部分的朋友也是想找到的。第二个方法呢，就是我比较推荐你去做的，就是直接发 email 去问。因为我怎么找到的呢？我不是用那些网站，我只是在想啊，我要做一些沙滩手球的东西，沙滩手球的事。那有什么方法呢？我就打 Beach Handle， 然后找到哦，有这个 event， 下面有一个 Volunteering 的 session， 我按进去，那个 deadline 还要已经过了，那我在想怎么办？但是我还是发 email 过去问。然后就说哦，我是怎么人呐、啊？我有什么经验？很简单，很简单，简单到爆。然后我刚刚看到。是说什么？我就说哦，我是一个 master student， 然后我打手球，我赢了手球冠军。最重要、最重要的是，我跟他说有没有机会，我可以跟你聊一聊。这是 corporate interview， 这个是我觉得很重要的。不一定人家回你，我也没有想过人家回我。但是 deadline 以后，那个人回我说，嗯，可以的，我们来一个 interview 哦，这样就可以进到下一个部分。Interview 啦，面试的问题。说到面试呢，老实说，我不记得很多东西，很多问题。我只是记得他问了我，介绍一下自己。因为我是申请沙滩手球的港标赛，那怎样的义工？那我就说，我打了多少年手球啊，拿了什么奖啊，去过哪里比赛啊？还有一个重点是，申请的时候他会问你想进那个 team， 想做什么？那我就选了 sport team 跟 media team。因为两个都是我觉得我有能力做到的，那我就直接在自我介绍的时候直接说，哦 ，sport team， 因为我这个这个这个 ，media team， 因为我做了 YouTube， 曾经做了 YouTube 之前一年前，下一个问题他跟我说的就已经问我是，哦，如果我发你在 media team 可不可以？然后我就说可以啊，可以啊，因为我心里面想，我都还没做过，哎，做一做，看一看，什么做什么都好，只要拿到那个 volunteering， 我肯定会学到一些东西。所以总结一下，面试最重要就是 focus， 你不是真的是跟你说哦，我喜欢看书啊，然后或者是哦，我大学学什么？如果学校里要学有关的东西，当然是好啊。好像我 media team 的朋友都是学传播系的。如果你是学 IT 的，就可以去 IT team。如果你刚好有执旧牌照，上过几堂课的话，那你就去 apply medical team。所以最重要就是从自我介绍，就要 focus， focus， focus。很明显知道你能做什么。第三个问题呢，就是很现实的问题，就是关于钱的问题。特别学生的我们，钱当然是一个大问题啊，因为做钱啊，因为是钱啊，就知道。但是我去这个 v o l u n t e e r i n g 啊，就基本上不太担心钱，因为它是包吃包住的，唯一你要付的就是去那边的机票。你去到那边，他就有人接你到 accommodation， 然后包吃包住，然后你的时间就给他，然后你空余的时间就也可以去旅游一下。重要最重要的问题，最后一个 session 就是。做什么呢？因为是一个 sport event， 基本上沙滩手球就是不一样的队走过来打手球 ，combat 武术就是不一样国家的人走过来打架，就是那么简单。那有很多不一样的 team， 有很多不一样种类的义工。最简单的我猜就是 information point， 基本上你就是坐在那个桌子等人家来，有什么问题，洗手间在哪里你就去哪里，然后哦我要去哪里哪里，然后你就走哦那边走这边走这边。还有其他，我记得呢，每一队也有一个 babysitter， 这个 babysitter 也是一个义义工，就是那一队去哪里，这个人就跟着那一队走。那我呢，我这是进到 media team， 我很记得，很记得第一天的 meeting， 我其实觉得蛮紧张的，因为那个 leader 是很蛮凶的，第一天走过来，然后就跟我说，所以说你能做什么？你可以带给我做什么？然后我就是哦，我做过 YouTube， 呃，我可以拍影片，有点怕第一次见到。他就看着我，做影片来看看，看看会怎样。真的是那么凶哦！其他 media team 的人呢，就是要写一个 journal， 就是写 journal article， 基本上就是说，哦，今天呢有一个故事介绍这个人，这个人是从哦 ，let's say。buff 来的，然后他有什么特别哦？有什么辛苦？他的故事是怎样？在 media team 就是做这样的工作，因为他们是学传播系的，所以他们写这些应该是没有问题。我也写了一次了，但是我还是主要拍影片为止。哦，啊，还有一个，老实说，你真的不用担心我做不做到，因为他每一天晚上也会发一个 task 给你，明天你就找这个人去访问他。
，看看他有什么 story， 问什么问题啊，这些他都会叫你。有什么不明白也去问。只是我刚好第一天那个 leader 看起来很凶，其实他真的没有那么凶了，因为还有另外一个 leader， 你可以问另外一个比较好的 leader 嘛。好了，现在我就给你看一看我在克罗地亚的工作成果。简单来说，就给你看一遍。Welcome to Zagreb 2019 European University Beach Handball Championship. Let's see what are the previous expectations. What do you expect in the coming few days? What's a good start to the other playing? They played well, played pretty well. So I think it will be a high quality beach handball tournament. Let's see if we can kind of. Get up to them, but we're here to learn. How about the Hungarian team? Yeah, we expect to win against Croatia, maybe again Spain, but Serbia is very good. Do you expecting like come here for party or like something? Yes. No. So you fully focus for the game? Yeah, party on Saturday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. good to hear that. For the Turkish team, uh, actually we came here for having fun in here, but uh, you know it's the tournament, it's the European tournament, yeah. and we just meet new people here. Yeah. So uh, we just came here for having fun and just enjoy the tournament. You're exactly doing what I do, <laughs> like having fun, talk to people. <laughs> yeah, great. Thank you very much. Great, great, great. So everyone is expecting something different. Someone wanna go all out for the party. So someone wanna go out for the match. Someone wanna enjoy the handball. Follow our Facebook, Instagram, and walk and read our website. Here is Andy Mosley reporting for you for the latest news. See you next time. Party tomorrow will be. Welcome back to Sakura 2019. Let's see what people think about Croatian beach handball. Hello, hello. <laughs> Someone is getting nervous. <laughs> But with the laughter, amazing. <laughs> okay, yeah. Can you tell the difference between beach handball in Croatia or like in Sakura? Compared to your, your the weather. Yeah. Yeah. Now, okay. In Holland, it's also really nice right now. But normally we don't have this. And also with the lake next to the courts, it's perfect. Ooh. Thank you. It's really nice. The people are so friendly. So it's really good to be here. How about the team from Catalonia? You, you play handball in Barcelona. Yeah. Beach handball as well. Yeah. Yeah. What's the main difference between Barcelona and here? Uh, in terms of beach handball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think I think beach handball it's, it's quite it's common because you know, also worldwide. But I think uh, actually uh, as well it happens uh, in in court handball. Um, every country has a way of playing. Yeah. So we we see how how countries of the east play so different like. And that's the thing. It's cool. Thank you very much. Thank you yep. very much. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? Like the main difference between like Zagreb and Cologne playing beach handball or like handball? Um, the difference, like uh, if you see our teams, we are pretty small against uh, those Croatian guys. They are like two meters or top, and it's really. Bad to to defend because we can't get those uh, in-flight passes, and so they are a little better than we are. But I think um, what spin shots or the the whole gameplay uh, is uh, is not far better than we are. In terms of like atmosphere, what do you feel like? Atmosphere is yeah. Well, it's, uh, in in beach and difference in Germany and in, yeah. in Croatia, I think in Croatia it's really more big. Uh, in in Germany we got like five teams that are pretty good, and the other teams are just drinking, 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 and forget to play. <laughs> yeah. And um, so it's I think it's more professional here. Yep, 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 yep. That's the video. So after I ask many prayers, many prayers, they all know the reason why they come to Zagreb. They know the difference between their own city and Zagreb beach handball. Some players come here, they embrace the weather. Some players embrace the high quality handball. Some players embrace the playing style. Everyone get their own reason to love it. Yep, we all love the same sport. This is handball. This is beach handball. We love it, love it. Follow our Facebook.
Facebook, Instagram, and the website. We're gonna post video every single day. So see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello everyone, it's quarter past one right now. No one on the street. Compared to yesterday, they probably party only 3 a.m., 4 a.m. But why is different for today? Because... What is the final day for European University Beach Handball Championship Soccer 2019? Here, Animus Lee reporter reporting the final day inside for you. Things are going more and more intense. It's intense like the Spanish powerful shot. Attacker and defender are giving out everything they have. Spectacular spin shot from Belgrade. And some quality save. A touching and passionate moment of victory. Three success speed, a skillful look shot. A spectacular Croatian camper. Definitely with some passion, screaming and cheering. Decent, decent, decent. We've seen some professional handball and also passion and passion. What about now? We take into another part of championship. Fun and fun. Final day for the South Group Beach Handball Championship. Now I'm with Fabian from German Sport University of Cologne. What's the most unforgettable moment for the whole event? Uh, I think there are many unforgettable moments. Uh, every time we're on the sport with all the guys and girls around and uh, cheering up for us, it's uh, really unforgettable for me. Uh, scoring the first spin shot and, with, uh, and against good teams and. I think that's uh, the most best, uh, the best one for me. Community and go have fun with other countries. That's perfect. Great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Bitte schön. Straight to the point. We've been here like for three, four days already. Yeah. And um, what's the most unforgettable moment? I don't know. It's my first tournament of beach handball, so everything here is more or less unforgettable. If you have to choose one, or one moment. Yeah. The, the win against the Turkey because we dominated the second set and I think it was the game of us. Yeah, Dankeschön. Ah, Dankeschön. Bitte schön. Easy question. So we have been here like for three, four days. What's the most unforgettable moment by far? 
definitely the first set against the Bulgarians. Yeah. It was so fucking amazing. Yeah, we, uh, really we managed to just pull out the win of the first set in the last second. And uh, we, we we were down a couple of goals, I think six, six goals with yeah. five minutes to go. And we slowly came closer and closer. And then the last second, we managed to make the one point and uh, get the game. So that was uh, definitely yeah. the nicest that, that moment. Everyone else yeah, so everyone, everyone, everyone everybody like started talking like, yeah, yeah, it was, oh, it was oh, a oh, nice oh, moment. Oh, that's what you play the sport for. Everything, it's, it's really that moment, the set. Everyone was so yeah. hyped, yeah. it's just so magical. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. No yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. I got a. <laughs> hey. Come on, come on. Hey. Hey. Okay, great. Any of you, like, you, we've been here for like three, four days. Yeah. What's the most unforgettable moment? This moment. This moment. This Okay, yeah. Except for this moment. Tell me some more. Tell me some more. I want to know you guys. Uh, Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. 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 Yeah. Because yeah. I. Like, before Rocco and after Rocco, you don't remember anything. No, no, no. <laughs> that's it. He doesn't remember that's anything. It. That's it. <laughs> What's special? I think in that's we all grew with other teams, so that's great. We oh, all yeah. became friends. That's that, that's great. Is, is it you guys' first time to play international tournament? Come yes. here, come yes. here, come here, come <laughs> here! <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Okay, wait, Captain, ask you a question. What's the most unforgettable moment yeah. of the whole Forgettable moment? Yeah. 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 The whole championship? Yeah. Yep. Anything. Rocco, Rocco. Anything. Barcelona's girls. Tell me one more, one more, except for the Barcelona girl. <laughs> tell me one more, tell me one more. The other girl. Cantiano. I think the most unforgettable moments for us is eight, the eight numbers shoot in the last Size is shot. The size is shot. And, the eight and, and eight he missed. <laughs> he missed. He missed. The unlucky number is eight. How, how do you feel I'm at that moment? Late. You just feel like depressed or like I just be sad. You can be lost. I just want uh, to win one period in here. We are not uh, like this is our first tournament. I told you before. Yeah, yeah. So uh, maybe we can win one period in here, but. All the tournament, all the events are amazing here. Yeah. So we are so happy to be here. Yeah. And uh, we are so happy to meet new people. Meet, meet you. Yeah. <laughs> Capiano. Capiano. Yeah. <laughs> After days of hard work, congratulations to all the medal winners! And a big big congratulations to the female team from the University of Barcelona. Also the male team from the University of Sabrina. Handball. Who's the MVO? 
really appreciate that you coming here. We hope we can see you all in 2020 in Belgrade. See you all in the near future and good luck on your sport career. See ya, see ya. All the best. Bye. Hello, welcome to the European University Comeback Championship. It's in Group 4 Championship in one event. It's Judo, Taekwondo, Kickboxing and Karate. Isn't it exciting? It's a really big event. We have like 1,300 participants. 404 universities. 36 European countries. Okay, let's go and see how the players think about this. Hello. Hello. This is Andy. We have like Mohammed from University of Belgrade. Yes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I think you are really excited. I'm very excited. Yeah. Uh, it's a very big event and I'm um, so happy to see this internationality and all these students. Yeah. So I'm so much looking forward. What is your goal, like your aim for this championship? My main aim is to be satisfied with my uh, performance, uh, but uh, I also aim to uh, win one of the three uh, positions, like one of the medals. Yeah. So I'll do my best for that and uh, see how it goes. Yeah, that's great. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> How's the preparation? Good, very good. Very good. Uh, I suppose so we will uh, we will make a good result yeah. tomorrow and uh, on, on Saturday. I know it's a really big championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, very, very, very good. Like, yeah. It's about 30, 35 percent in uh, each category and uh, a lot of top level karate tests come there. Yes, a lot of top karate career. And what do you expect? Like, are you aim to the medal or? Like, we will hope. I, I, I think we will make some medals. Great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Basically, this championship, combat championship, is really, really big, I would say. Yeah. yeah also for judo. Yeah. It's like, how, how do you feel now? Like, uh, in general? Yeah, I'm feeling good. So the organization is good and everything. But uh, it's a little bit small here. There are many people, so uh, I thought it would be a little bit bigger. Ricardo, so what's your aim? for this championship <laughs> what you aim for i want to try uh, to get a medal i don't know how the competition is like <laughs> after the championship you yeah. want to like bring something out from here here what would you what would it be uh I just a nice experience and when i'm back in Holland, i will train for the this championship great thank you very much thank you thank also. you thank you thank you yep big 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 championship is coming it's really coming if you're confused on anything if you need some help Please ask any of the organizer volunteer. Also, make a comment below to tell us what you feel. Follow our Facebook, Instagram, and website. We will give you the latest update. Yep, see you tomorrow. Bye. Taekwondo, kickboxing, judo, karate. Everyone get their own reason to love their sport. But what does special martial art mean for them? I'm pretty sure there's no universal answer. But let's see what people think about it. Hello, we're here we have Siri from Switzerland. Yes. yes. <laughs> Hello. Yep. Okay, go straight to the question. What does uh, how long like actually person I wanna know is that how long have you played judo? I didn't ask. Twenty years. What? Started with five or six years ago. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, then probably you can answer this question really well. What does judo mean for you? Judo means it's a whole lifestyle. You are living to to fight well, but judo also helps you in your everyday life. So I might do an exam, and uh, this is like a competition situation. I'm preparing my exams like I prepare my fights. So that's it's um, all kind of. Cool. So do you think like basically, if you say like that, judo actually improve your life? Yeah, yeah. Like in For what sure, way? Yes. In what way? Mostly. Uh, it allows me to stay calm at all times, even in a bad situation or in, in, in stressful times. So, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Soon. Hello, here I have my partner from University of Bath. Break to the point. What do the mean for you? Um, I started it as a way to keep fit, um, but I just I just love it as a hobby and um, it's a really good thing to at uni like de-stress oh, just, yeah. yeah it's just nice to socialize you play for seven years which is like for your entire uni and also high school why do you do judo um it was between judo and netball and i was only doing martial arts so oh yeah because i play handball 
and it's a team sport. It's quite different, I would say, like netball and like yeah. martial arts. Like. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I chose it, because I knew I'd be doing A-levels in uni, so I didn't want to. I chose an individual sport, so I wouldn't have to commit when I was doing Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, hello! Good morning. Hola, hola! In your language, any language? Yeah. Yes. 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 Hello, here is uh, Andy with like Hira, Harrietta, and Andra. So, where are you from? We are from Hungary. Hungary. What does kickboxing mean for you guys? What's the meaning um, for you guys? We are doing point fighting, which is like kind of like you 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 are searching for you to get the points. Yeah. So it is kind of like a game or something like that. So it is very interesting that you have to see the, the your opponent mistakes so you can get a point. So that is like like similar than fencing. This is point fighting. So that's that's what I'm doing, but she's doing both. Yeah, yeah. I do like contact and uh, point fighting. Uh, I prefer point fighting, but uh, like contact is more like uh, boxing because it's a continue fighting. Uh, so, but in like contact you don't have to be so smart and so clever. So I, I prefer point fighting. More personally, is like how long have you played kickboxing? So it's almost like 20 years. For me. 18, 18, 19 wow, years, so yeah. it's like you grow up basically yeah, with kickboxing. Yeah, what is the most interesting part, like attractions from <laughs> kickboxing for you? We are doing it because we are enjoying the sport, so that we are doing it for ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we like fighting, so we're doing it. Maybe if you can get through your opponent, that like you, you, you get the, the key of your opponent, so you, you see the point how you can you can win against your opponent. I think that's for for me is the. How about you? Andrew? For me, uh, I don't know. Uh, I like very close games. I like to fight with very talented girls because uh, when I win against talented girls, it's it's more more joy. Ariata, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Andra. Andra. <laughs> Andra. Andra. See ya, see ya. Yep, yep, yep. This is the end of championship for part of the judo players. Thank you for your efforts and excellent passion. Sometimes we win and we share the joy and happiness. Sometimes we lost and we got desperate and we regret that moment what we did. But more importantly, we are not alone. We get some companies and encouragements. We fight, we learn and we improve. We become better and better. We, Elsa, also learn together. I believe Elsa and you guys will bring the sport to a better and better level. Dear my fellow fighters, show me what you got today. Give out all of your passion, effort and dedication. We will see you tomorrow. Good luck. Bye. Sometimes fighters get a good day, bad day. What do you do when you get a bad day? Let's see. Hello, hello. Hey, it's Andy with Wake. Yes, with Wake. Okay, stretch your point. As a fighter, you get like good days, bad days. Like when you get a bad day, what, what do you do? Good day, bad day, it depends on the draw because that's the only thing you don't have control of but if you talk about the fight then it depends it all depends on you if you do a good fight you get a good result but sometimes let's say you get a really good fighter in the first round then it's a bad day but still you fight well you can win so most of the time good day bad day it doesn't really matter it's just that if you fight according to the opponent according to your situation then that's all you need to do so you're a kind of stable player. Maybe you, you just like lose your focus for like three seconds. One oh, second, yeah. you get a back kick. Yeah, that, that's like a mistake. So it's not a bad day. If it happened to you, and, and then, then what do you and tell then you? And you go back, you learn, and then you come back, you don't do the same mistake again. Ah oh, yeah, so, so yeah, you would just like slow down, think about that mistake, yeah. and learn yeah. mental preparation, yeah. yep. think about. Yep, it's, wow. it's not only physical, it's like half mental, half physical. Even though if, if you can be the most stronger person, in, most strongest person, uh, person in the team, but still end up losing because you might be not prepared mentally. Yeah. It's really impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Here is Andy with Fight from Great Britain. Sometimes you get good days, bad days in performance. When you get a bad day, what do you tell yourself? What do you do? So even today I got to my semis and I wasn't happy with my performance. But now I'm here to watch the finals to see what I could have done, what would have been the situation. I just tell myself, there's more trainings, there's another competition, I've got to do it, this is what I want. I want to be on the top of the stadium, top, so I want to do that. I think you've got to be like training, training, yeah. training. You've got to be like, progress. 
Yeah, yeah, in I think 2020 is in Belgrade. Um, so yeah, I, I, I think I know Belgrade. I will yeah. see you in Belgrade. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, thank you. Hello, hello. Here is Andy with Javier. Javier. Here's from Valencia. Yep. All the fighters or like any sport player, you get good days and bad days. Yes. Like get good performance, bad performance. Mm -hmm. When you get a bad day, what you gonna do? What what you gonna do basically? Mm, don't think and you're having a bad day and try to reset your mind and think that it could be better and start again. If you are warming up and you don't feel better or good, don't worry. Start again, think and why are you here and do what you want. Sometimes you train a lot and you hope that you uh, will win the competition yeah. and you have a bad day and don't achieve what you are what you want yeah. at that time like how do you make up your mind thinking that mm, i've done everything that i can and don't worry about that yeah. i will do better thank you very much yep here is andy with <laughs> carol oh no carol, carol. and uh, alexia. alexia alexia and carol for the fighter we sometimes get a good days, bad days, and bad yeah. performance. And like, I just want to know, like, the secret of you guys is like, when you get a bad day, what do you do? Cry. Cry. <laughs> For real. <laughs> okay, we uh, we lost the competition. Yep. So now we are just now enjoying. Yeah. And uh, watching other winning the categories. Will you do anything after, like your loss? Will you, will you really cry? Oh, it depends. Yeah, but sometimes you do. Sometimes you cry because maybe you... You make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. and maybe you have trained a lot. Mm. And uh, then uh, all of the hard work it didn't pay off. Mm. So you don't feel that good. And yeah. So usually female cry. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, this is so inspiring for me. As a fighter, we win, we lose, we win, we lose. This is what called competition. Sometimes you get frustrated. You get your own way to get real of it. You think about it. You improve both mentally and physically. You train and you're ready for the next step. I hope you all enjoy the final day for this championship in Zagreb. Yep, follow our Facebook, Instagram and website. See you. Bye. Welcome to the last video about the biggest Elsa event in 2019. 36 countries in this combat championships, friendship and hundreds of medal owners are created. Here is Andy Mosley present the preparation stage for our fighters. How about we get some sharing from gold medal owners? Congratulations! Thank you, thank you. And, um, my name is Andy. Here with the gold medal owner <laughs> for the European Championship in Zagreb. Because like, I saw your amazing fight. It's like you you were done quite a lot and and you came back. What's the main reason for you coming back? It's all, uh, 
physical preparation that I need all of this long time. And, uh, just don't give up. What you think at that time? Like, no, I wasn't watching the point. That's all. Oh yeah. I, wasn't watching, like, I was watching my game. What will be your next step? Next Do you step. Have any plan? Yeah, in a uh, European Championship, uh, of Taekwondo or Taekwondo Federation. That's what is the gold medal there. Oh, that's that's it. Another, yeah, another gold medal there. Yeah. You. That's what you want. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. First, congratulations. Like, what's the main reason why you win for your final match? Because I train very hard, I train in summer, yep. so I think that is the main reason. When you go to Golden Point, and what do you think at that time? Uh, nervous, yeah, and I made uh, four points. Yeah, two points, yeah. For that first punch, I was still yeah. so nervous. I made it first, and after yeah. I made nervous, and after yeah. again. And after that, mo after that moment, oh, do we, we can just walk around that. After that moment, you just, what do you feel? Like, it's over. Yeah. yeah. I, and now I have to relax. <laughs> now I'm going to um, be with my family. Yeah, yeah. Where will you be your next step? Next step, I'm going to go to the train with the Spanish national team yeah, yeah. in Madrid. Um, that's it, in September. Yeah. And you aim for another championship? Yes, yeah, I, I, I don't know what, what, what championship, yeah. but then I know what to yeah. Thank you very much, thank you very much. From the whole championships, we found something real in life. All the passions. The truth is my Thank you for your effort and participations. We will see you next year in Belgrade. Bye.